Hey y'all, uh, so first things first, to get this crimp ponytail, I need to blow out my sister's hair. So as you can see there, I'm using the Dr. Miracles heat protectant. And I wanna use this because I'm gonna use a blow dryer to blow out her hair and I wanna prevent as much heat damage as I possibly can. Um, so I blow it out with the blow dryer and I'm just taking a weave brush and combing it out. I'm using a thick and slay gel to sleek her ponytail. And as you can see, I split it into two. And this just helps me get a flatter uh, ponytail rather than just trying to brush it all up at once. So you see me here, I'm just like tightening it and making sure I got all the like stragglies, trying to get it as sleek as possible. I'm using the Edge Booster Spritz and I love this spritz because it's a really soft hole, not too hard. It doesn't make your hair look so just hard. It just keeps it soft. And I'm wrapping it with the black uh, tape. I don't know what y'all call that. I call it tape. Um, black tape. I think it's called paper. I don't even know. I'm wrapping it with that just to hold it into place. Just to hold her hair into place. So when I finish doing her ponytail, that part of her hair can be slick and slayed. <laughs> Okay, so my next step is when I finish wrapping the ponytail, I take one single strand of hair and I wrap it around to cover the tracks and to make sure it's secure, I use the got to be spray to spray it and really like just make sure it's secure and covering up that track because you don't want your track showing. And since my sister is young, you know, I got to put the pins in it because I don't want her to have no incident at school where her hair falling out. And the kids be talking about her. And, you know, we got to get ratchet. So, I just took some pins and secured it. Um, now, I'm going to start crimping it. And what I do is I take one piece of the hair. I part it out. I clip the other hair aside. I spray my um, got to be spray on the hair. And then I take my crimp iron. And then I just start crimping it on down, crimping it on down. And then I just, like, repeat this process over and over.
Okay, so I don't know if y'all can tell, but as I was going down crimping it, I was actually cutting it. And normally you would cut it from the beginning, but I wanted to keep it long at first. But then I was like, okay, this looks a little too grown for her. So I started cutting it. Um, I'm putting some oil on there just to, you know, take that hard crimp look out of it and make it look a little soft. Put the crimps out a little bit. Okay, so once I cut the paper off, she was pretty much done. Um, I brushed it up a little bit more in spots that need to be brushed, spritzed it a little bit more. Um, now I'm just adding the um, new little jewelry that everybody wears in their hair. Just to spice it up a little bit, give her a little sauce, make her look different. And as you can see, she's feeling herself. Um, I'm using Toot Toot Hair Goodies um, Edge Control. Best edge control you will ever use in life. Like, natural people, this is the bomb. Like, I can only imagine... If I had a perm, what this would do to my head. Like, oh, Lord. But that's what I'm using on her edges. And the ponytail was so sleek, I could barely get edges out of there. Because the um, holding it with the paper and the spritz, it was, like, really hard to get out. But I'm just doing her edges, completing her look. Um, She was really happy with this look. So I was having a proud sister moment. 